بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ from the fawaid or pearls and benefits of شیخ الاسلام ابن القیم رحمہ اللہ تعالی and something to strengthen and fortify our hearts hopefully drawing us nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and encouraging us to do good and this is absolutely fantastic and what I needed to hear right now from one of our brothers Abu Umar half of Allah ta'ala who sent this to me Qala ibn, ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala Ibn al-Qayyim said may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him wafi sadaqa fawaid he said in giving charity there is many benefits Taqi Musari' Asu. It is a protection from the entanglement of evil. Tedfa al Bala. It also is a way of defending oneself against uh, tests. Tutfi al Khatiya. And it is putting, uh, uh, expiating our mistakes. Tuhfid al mal. And it is a protection of your wealth. Tajlibu rizq. And it is also by giving sadaqah. It is a way to increase your risk. وَتَفْرَى الْقَلْبِ And sadaqah brings about joy in the heart. تُوجِبْ أَثِّقَ بِاللَّهِ وَحُسْنُ ظَنْبِ And also sadaqah, it necessitates that a person is a uh, that they have a, a, a beautiful and positive way of looking at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That they are positive. This is the ultimate PMA, so to, so to speak, of having a positive mental attitude because of their iman billah. They are positive and they are, uh, you know, looking for reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it shows that they are that they trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَتَرْغَمُ shaitan. And this goes against the will of the shaitan. وَتَسْكِيَةَ nafs وَتَنْمِيهَا It is a purification of the soul. And a way of development. Look how Ibn al-Qayyum is, is telling us about how to purify our soul. And all of this comes from Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That this is a purification of our, our nafs and it is a development of our soul. Because when we're giving sadaqah, when we're doing righteous deeds, it's like exercise. It's building your strength. It's building the strength of your iman. And it's building yourself, building your Islamic character. In your Islamic conduct, with Allah alhamd. Tajibul abd, oh, tahabbab al abd il Allahi wal al wal al khalkihi. That this, by giving sadaqa, it also makes the servant loved by Allah subhanahu wa taala and by Allah's creation. تَسْتَتَرْ لَهُ كُلُّ عَيْبِ Also by giving sadaqah, this is a means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cover your sins or cover your shortcomings. And may Allah cover our shortcomings and sins. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. تَزِيدْ فِي الْعُمَرِ That also by giving sadaqah, giving charity, this also will increase your, your longevity. 
وتستجلب أدعي الناس Also it necessitates by giving sadaqah that the people will supplicate for you And tedfa an sahibaha adab al-qabr also by giving sadaqah, giving charity. This is one of the ways that you defend yourself from the punishment of the grave. Takun alayhi dhilla yawm al qiyamah. And also that the person who gives sadaqah, that they will receive shade on the day of judgment. Tashfa lahu indallah. And likewise, it sadaqah will be a uh, a form of intercession for you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tahwan alayhi shada'id ad dunya wal akhirah. Or tahwan. That sadaqah will make easy for you the difficulties you experience in this life as well as the hereafter and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from Ahlul Sadaqah and may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bless us all with Jannah for dose and forgive us for our many sins anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal anything I said that was for incorrect was from myself and the shaitan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm al nafiyah wa rizqan tayyibah wa amal al-mutaqabbinan وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم